Welcome back to all of you that have been here before. But if this is your first time here, my name is Vince and I want to send a special welcome to you. Especially? Special. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna remove the switch tank from the tabletop. We're gonna focus on this bad boy right here. This is Milwaukee's M18 fuel driven to outperform. One key, track and manage. That means that you will have an application. We'll tell you the last known place for this tool. It also will be able to be inventory. You'll be able, as a contractor, small business owner that owns thousands of tools, you will know the last location of this. You'll be able to keep it in your inventory. It says power to cut, reinforced concrete. That means with a rebar or wire mesh, right? Up to 50% lighter than gas, no gas headaches. That means the fumes, as you're using it, you might get lightheaded from the fumes. You definitely don't want to be using gas-powered equipment on the interior of a building, right? You'll see that the 9-inch cutoff saw with one key is product number or part number or Milwaukee tool number 2786-20. You can use all of Milwaukee's M18 batteries. Here's the deal. With something like this, you're going to be wanting to use minimum 8 amp hour. I would suggest using 12 amp hour at all times. You don't want this saw blade stalling. This is tool only, battery and charger not included. Let's, let's flip it around onto its side. Take a look at some of the specifications. This is a nine inch cutoff saw, which means the blade diameter will be nine inches. Cut capacity 3.4 inches. Arbor side seven eighths. RPM is 6600. Water connection is quick connect. And that's where this comes into play. These two, awesome together, awesome. Load indicator light, yes. So if you overload the tool, a light will indicate that. Because here's the reality. If you're wearing iPro and EarPro, you might really need to have an indicator light to tell you you're overloading the tool. You might not be able to tell from the sound of the cutting. A lot of people go by sound when it comes to blade speeds and such. You might not be able to do that. That's why they have that load indicator light. This is one key capable. The length of the tool is 25.3 inches. Weight with blade is 11.9 pounds. This kit comes with a diamond blade as well as an abrasive blade. You'll see here, power to cut reinforced concrete. You can cut everything from PVC, they're saying pavers and stone, you could score concrete, cut block, rebar, cast iron, ductile iron, all the way up to reinforced concrete. This is the thing though. I would assume from the, from the picture here, it looks like it's a 14 inch saw. All of this is made possible, of course, because of the technologies built into this saw. We have the Power State brushless motor, which was designed specifically for this fuel tool. Redlink Plus Intelligence is like a microprocessor. And then we have the red lithium battery pack. Basically what this is saying is that Power State brushless motor, Redlink Plus Intelligence, and that red lithium battery pack, they all talk to one another. They all let each other know how much draw is happening on the tool so that the battery could output the power that is required. It's a whole, it's a whole complicated thing. Here, here, as a contractor, this is what I want to know. Does it work? That's what I want to know. As long as it works, that's what, I, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm concerned with. with. With all of Milwaukee's tools, or pretty much all that I'm aware of, we're getting a five-year warranty with this. Let's get this thing unboxed. Let's see what's going on in here. I don't think I've ever seen Turn it over here. So, out of the box first, right? We have our abrasive blade. Pretty nice. So it's a cutoff wheel. It's made for metal. Then we have our diamond wheel. Look at it. It's, it's like a look. Like look at this thing. It's like an old 45. It's unbelievable. I feel like I, I want to throw this on the uh, on the turntable and play a tune. So this is a diamond segmented wheel. Diamond premium. 
Max RPM, 6,790. We know what you came here for. Let's get to it. Wow. We have our, our, our hose adapter, our water adapter here. The saw comes out of the, out of the styrofoam. Pretty simple, it's in a bag. We have our instructions. Also, with every purchase of a kit, I think even maybe bare tools, leave it down below. I, I'm gonna need a little correction here. You have your opportunity to wear, e to win either a combination kit or a free t-shirt. They, they do drawings like once a month. Let me know down below, have you ever won? People say it's a myth that nobody ever wins. I, I've heard some people say they've won. We wanna know, have you ever won? Or do you, have you entered so many times and can't understand why you've never won? We wanna know, leave it down below. All right, let's get this out of the bag. I'm gonna tell you right now. I mean, we don't have, we don't have the, the blade installed just yet, but I will tell you this much. I'm used to the gas powered steels. And yeah, I understand they're 14 inch saws, but, but this thing is really like lightweight. Now we have a wide open cavity here in the middle. And that cavity is IP rated. As you can see here, there is a gasket to seal off the battery compartment. I feel like the lightweightness will somewhat change after we pop a battery in there. Before we do that, let's pop, let's pop our diamond blade on. We got a lot going on here, I'll tell you that much. Do, 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 do. Mm. Right, we have the Allen key here. I'm like, well, wait a minute. This, there's no Allen here. Like, what the heck? And then finally, at the back, you look at that. We got our, we got our wrench, okay? Now here's the deal, we got some movement here. So what you do is you gotta spin the lock here, okay? So we insert our Allen key into this spindle lock and then we're able to either loosen and tighten our spindle bolt. We're gonna pop this off. Then we're gonna pull off our washer. So we're gonna, we're gonna pop out our little bushing here. Okay, now we're gonna pop in our blade. Okay, once we're, we pop in our blade, we're gonna put our other washer on. All right. We're gonna put our spindle bolt on. We're gonna, we're gonna snug that down. That's pretty much all she wrote on assembly. Let's pop a battery in here. This is what I recommend is a 12 amp hour battery. Now you could run this sole dry. Problem is, is that if you're cutting concrete, block, brick, dry, you're, you're going to get a whole bunch of dust. I prefer to use this with water. So that means you can use the supplied, this is a garden hose adapter, okay? Or another great way to use this tool is with the switch tank. And why do I like to use the switch tank with this tool? Because we don't need to track down a hose bin. Plus we don't have to use maybe solutions where we'd have to pump them. Switch tank is battery operated. Let me show you what that looks like. So let's go over the specifications for the switch tank. This is the M18 powered base. It does have the tank, hose, and quick connect, as well as a three amp hour battery and their multi-volt charger. Now, the good part about the switch tank is, you use the one powered base, you can use multiple tanks for release agents, for concrete. The blue one here that we have is just for water, or the green one here is for like herbicides, or herbicides, depending on how you pronounce it. Pretty cool. Now this product number is 2820, Dash 21 WS water sprayer, three year tool warranty, three year battery warranty, one year tank warranty. Go easy on your tank. You'll see here, it's a four gallon tank. PSI is between 20 and 60. Run time, you're gonna get up to 12 tanks per charge on a three amp hour battery, that's cray. 
Flow rate and range is 0.16 to 1.13 gallons per minute. Dual diaphragm pump and 18.3 pounds. It says here, isolated pump, hose, and quick connect. And this is important. Like I said, you're able to get multiple tanks and use them with the single powered base. You, you want to have segregated tanks and just the one powered base. Get as many tanks as you want. Pretty cool. Powerful pump and motor. Delivers instant and constant pressure up to 60 PSI, up to 1.13 gallons per minute flow rate. Whoa. Then we have five mode pressure adjustment knob. Adjust pressure between 20 and 60 PSI. The Red Lithium XC 3.0 battery pack fits inside an IP rated box here. Pretty cool. And you'll see here, the switch tank is interchangeable sprayer and water supply system, okay? There's your herbicide tank, four gallon, switch tank, four gallon concrete, sprayer tank assembly for release agents and such, and then the four, four gallon tank for water. I will say this, my experience, the water tank is the least expensive of the tanks. If you wanted just the tanks, just the tanks, herbicide is product number 49-16-28PS, pesticide? Is that what it stands for? I don't know. The concrete tank assembly is 49-16-28CS, and then the water tank on its own is 49-16-28WS. Let's get it open. Out of the box first comes the multi-volt charger. I don't know why Milwaukee Tool doesn't just include these multi-volt chargers in all of their kits, including their M12 kits. It charges M12 batteries. I don't get it. How much landfill waste do we need? I mean, who really uses those M12 chargers? Leave it down below if you do. I, I sure don't. Here's our three amp hour battery. Yo, this is the old school ones. Look, this is just labeled XC. We have our instructions. Wow. And finally, the switch tank. Here it is. Wow, here's our, our little schnozzle. Look at it. It's like a little sprayer. It's like a little garden hose nozzle. So cute. See here, we have an adjustable harness. It's not loaded with water or herbicides. The harness helps to distribute the weight evenly and it's not just concentrated like on one spot of your back, back causing ailments over time. Pretty cool. Yeah, just be mindful. I'm telling you, it feels pretty, pretty lightweight, but we don't have four gallons of water in there yet. You'll see here, we have the, the battery box. Once again, you'll see that it is IP65 rated. We have our adjustment knob to adjust PSI, as well as our on and off button. If you look closely, you will know that this button is the same button used in the briefcase vacuum. Pretty cool. Good Lord. Ooh. Once again, we have our little gasket here. We have our strainer for our water tank, so it's easily fillable. Here's the other great thing. You can have multiple tanks that you're working out of. This way, one, one tank runs dry. You could have your other tank on standby. We're gonna undo this latch here. We'll undo this latch here and your tank lifts right off. Boom. Here's your base unit. I know a lot of you are wondering how does it work with the saw. We'll pull back on, on this little sleeve. We'll pop off our hose, pop off our nozzle here. We're gonna pop off our adapter and then it's as simple as popping right onto our, our fitting. Boom, we're locked in. Now, we have a battery operated sprayer. We're using it with our battery operated saw to keep the dust down on the job. It's a good solution.
And I feel like having harmony when two tools come together, then smash the like button. I mean, it's free for you to do. It helps out the channel immensely and you get seven years of good luck. There's not a good reason not to. Is that a double negative? God, I'm so, I'm so passionate about the like button you have me talking in double negatives. Leave the comments down below. Do you own these two tools? I mean, they're not new, so we'd love to hear your feedback. We've had good experience, that's why we got this set as well. We wanna hear yours. Leave it down below. You love them, you hate them. Would you rather have the MX Fuel version of this saw for the more capacity we wanna know? With that, I wanna say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here with me during this unboxing. Thanks a lot. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications throw. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.